The coronavirus has left hundreds of thousands of Floridians furloughed or unemployed. For families that struggled to make ends meet prior to the crisis, the disruption to their income could put them at the risk of homelessness. Ability Housing is a Florida nonprofit at the forefront of this situation. Joining us via Zoom to tell us more about the link between recovery efforts and housing development is Shannon Nasworth, Ability Housing's president and CEO. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. First of all, tell me a little bit about uh, this organization. What exactly do you do? Sure. Ability Housing is a Jacksonville-based nonprofit. We're an affordable housing developer. We currently own five apartment communities in Jacksonville, as well as another one in Orlando with several others under construction. So how do you apply to be a part of this housing? We work with other nonprofits to um, for families who've been homeless. We work with other nonprofits so there's a referral process. And that way we know the housing we're offering is the best solution for them. For others, it's a matter of coming to the properties and applying, you know, just like typical apartment communities. For many of the people I'm speaking to, especially that are filing for unemployment, this is a first time thing for them. They have no idea really what they're doing when they need these resources. Who should people be reaching out to right now? This is new for everybody. And I think we're all trying to figure out how we help each other through this crisis. And for families who are under immediate stress, I guess the best offer I have is call 211. The United Way has a very good referral system that they've set up as an emergency response for a myriad of issues around the community in response to COVID. And talking about uh, specifically the communities that you guys have, what is the criteria that you have to meet to be approved? Sure, our apartment communities are affordable housing, so there is an income restriction. It's different at every property, so I can't give you a specific number. And then some of our units are set aside for families that have been homeless. So you do have to come through that referral process that we have with the Homeless Coalition. Have you seen the need for housing rise with the pandemic? The need has been great before the pandemic and it's gonna get worse. And I'll be honest right now, I think our biggest concern, not for ability housing residents, but for people at housing unstable in general, there is a moratorium on evictions, but that's going to end on June 2nd, and a lot of people could face homelessness. That's got to be pretty scary, you know, even from your perspective, obviously, for the person it's happening to. What do you kind of say to those people as next steps? Because let's be honest, this is not going away anytime soon. It isn't going away anytime soon. And I think for, if you are worried, if you are a renter, reach out to your landlord, be honest with them, have a conversation. They don't want to evict you. They, it, it's not good for them. They just need to know you're working on a solution. I would also, again, call 211, see if there might be some assistance available to help you. You know, as a nonprofit, we're working with every one of our residents on a case-by-case -case basis to help them through this crisis. Our biggest concern is how long is it going to be before they can go back to work and not be at risk of homelessness and food insecurity again. But the thing to remember is there are resources like Ability Housing and you guys out there? We've been lucky. We got a grant through the United Way and we're able to provide some emergency assistance to our residents. But if this goes on much longer, those funds are going to be gone. And, you know, we need to keep pay our insurance and our staff and keep the properties running. And if we don't have enough rental income, we're going to be in a tough situation as well. So it's challenging for all of us. And I think the only way to do this is to work together. Shannon Nazareth, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Absolutely, thank you.